Hello YouTube, it has been too long since I've posted a video about the progress of the pole barn build. I apologize, but something, again, I can't stress enough that you're going to have to learn is patience. For me, I'm extremely impatient. Uh, so to not be able to record the progress and share it with you uh, has been killing me internally. Luckily, it's been the holiday season, uh, so there's been uh, other things going on to distract me from that fact. But you'll have to learn that patience. So I wanted to combine a couple things together and show you what you've missed, what's going on, and where the current status of the pole barn build is. So here I want to pan to a couple shots of the current state of the land. Last time we showed it, it was built up to grade. So what they do next is they need to come in and plot out where they are going to set all the poles along the perimeter. How they do this is they come in and put a couple stakes in the ground to first off generally mark the spot. Uh, then they put up almost kind of like a, a wooden angle in place almost to kind of mimic uh, where the corner of the structure is going to be and then they take like bright uh, fluorescent like lines uh, strings and they basically wrap them around the post for one corner stretch it all the way out tight and make it taut to the next corner wrap it around there there to the next corner and that way they can kind of grid out uh, perfectly straight lines uh, corner to corner of the house so they know where to dig each of the holes where they're going to be setting the poles for. So part of this process is after the holes are dug, uh, they're basically being prepared for uh, the poles to go into the holes and be set into place. For us, this had to be inspected by the town. Again, this is another point where you should go and check with uh, your municipality. They may want to be there in person. Uh, in our case, what they had done is they had the representative there, the building inspector from the town, meet our builder out there, and they watched the way that the cement was being poured in for the footers, uh, for the holes for the poles um, around the structure. So again, here's some shots of uh, the grid, what the holes look like after the cement has been poured in the base. They're not filling up the holes, they're, there's just a little bit going in there. Um, to my understanding, the, the poles that I'm going to rest on there, and the rest is going to get encased from that point. But today is a good day because we received word back that we are good to go. The uh, local inspector approved the way that they were uh, done and set in place, and he has now given the builder the green light to go ahead and start the build. The reason this is such um, a great uh, checkpoint for our build is that this means our builder now has um, essentially free reign to to go and commence the build um, all the way up from now until we are issued a CO or certificate of occupancy. At what point the inspectors will come in and they will uh, write off if they like the way the electric's been done, the way the, the, the water plumbing's been ran, the way the gas plumbing's been ran, uh, and the utilities are set up and then uh, at that point, they can do the CO. So we're really hoping at this point the build, uh, the momentum really picks up and our builder is able to not hit any more uh, kind of the red tape and checkpoints uh, that we're made to to reach because of the town requirements. Um, so follow along. It's my understanding that sometime in this next week here, they're finally going to set the poles. So I will go and record uh, the progress of that and follow up with everybody as soon as I'm able. Thank you very much.